I think we all can agree that in middle school, homework is the last thing you want to do. I mean, you'd spend all day doing work in class, and then you'd finally hear the bell ring, and you'd be like, FREEDOM! And then you'd go home and do homework for 16 hours. Didn't these teachers know I had the Indiana Jones trilogy on VHS? My homework kept piling up because, well, I'd only do it when I was waiting for the videos to rewind. And I know most hated math more than anything, but for me, it was English class. Didn't matter what that teacher said, it all sounded like this. And we will not be having any fun in this class. Not today, not tomorrow, and certainly not right now. And homework in this class was always a book report. Those are the worst. Here's why. Being in the sixth grade gave me plenty of time to figure out the system. Homework didn't have to be done until it was due, and I devised the perfect plan. You know those kids who would diligently and aggressively take notes? The goody two-shoes? I'd go undercover as one of them. And while it would look like I'd be in second period taking detailed notes about the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, I was actually doing algebra homework for the third period. Now you might not know this, but James Monroe actually invented algebra. Okay, so that part's a lie. The point is I would do homework for every class and the class I had before it, and the clock was always ticking. I had 30 minutes to get this homework done. And you know what you can't do in 30 minutes? Read a book and then write a report about it. I hate you, English class. I hate you. So, it was back to doing homework the old-fashioned way. Until I found out my teacher's fatal flaw. He would let us read whatever book we wanted. And if he's teaching seven classes a day, 30 students each, there's no way he's reading these books. And this gave birth to the first genius idea I ever had. Creative writing. I didn't read the book. I just took randoms out from the library and made everything up. And sure, a lot of those books I read had plots very similar to Indiana Jones movies. But that didn't matter. So I still got the A. With awesome little notes too, like excellent details, great grasp of the story, and my favorite, I'll have to read this one. <laughs> so cool to have so many new subscribers lately. What's up, guys? It's kind of neat to have the whole world watching. And special thank you to Swoozy for voicing one of the characters this week. Be sure to hit up his channel and say Thug Life Lives. I'm it's Alex Clark, okay?